My name is Drew of Andrews and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm going to be talking about a fuel guide so you can know everything that can be smelted and the differences between Java and Bedrock for fuels. Sit back, relax, grab your cup of caffeinated beverage and enjoy the video. The first fuel I'm going to talk about is boats. Boats can be smelt, can smelt down six blocks, chest boats and normal boats. The next fuel I'm going to talk about is coal and charcoal. One of them you get by smelting logs, and the other you find by mining. This one is renewable, you can, find, you can get an unlimited amount of it. This one, there is a limited supply, but in an infinite world. I did not know this before I decided to make this video, but blaze yards can be smelted down for 12 blocks. One of my favorite fuel sources is dried kelp blocks, because they smelt for 20, and you can get as as much of them as you want. <coughs> You're welcome. The next fuel is blocks of coal. They can be smelted down for 80. They are better than using 9 coal because 8 times 9 is 72. And now we have lava buckets. In my opinion, this is the best fuel you can use in the entire game. It smelts 100 blocks and it's completely renewable if you make a lava generator. Here's an example of a lava generator. All you need are 4 separate materials which are right here, you need lava, you need any non burnable block, cauldrons, and dripstone. If you set it up like so, you'll be able to get unlimited lava for a fuel source. Now I'm going to talk about the differences between Java and Bedrock fuel sources. I made Java green because it's obviously the better version of Minecraft, and Bedrock red because it's definitely the worst t form of Minecraft. Wooden slabs on Java can be smelted for 0 0.75. You are in the way. You're too loud. Don't deserve to live. You're ruining my video. You're a menace to society. Now that's taken care of. Wooden slabs on bedrock can be smelted for 1.5 blocks. So on bedrock, it is better to turn your wood into slabs for smelting. Next up is the beehives and nests. They can only be smelted on bedrock, but I don't know why you'd want to smelt these very valuable resources and they smelt for 1.5 blocks. The next thing you can smelt are wooden buttons. On Java they can smelt for 0.05 and on bedrock they can smelt for 1.5. The next thing you can smelt is mangrove roots and ladders. They can only be smelted in Java for 1.5. Next up is crossbows and bows. They can be smelted on Java for 1.5 and they can be smelted on Bedrock for 1. Wooden bowls on Bedrock can be smelted for 1 and on Java they can be smelted for 0.5. Wool blocks and carpets, they can only be smelted in Java and they can be smelted for 0.05 and 0.0335, which is almost a third. Now it's time to talk about everything else that can be smelted in both versions of the game for 1.5. Every wood type, the logs and stripped logs, the planks, the stairs, the pressure plates, the trap doors, the fences, and the fence gates can all be smelted for 1.5. However, the nether wood cannot be smelted at all. Everything else that can be smelted for 1.5 are crafting tables, cartography tables, fletching tables, smithing tables, bookshelves, looms, lecterns, composters, chests and trap chests, barrels, daylight sensors, jukebox, note blocks, and banners. Everything that can be smelted for one block are doors, signs, and all the wooden tools. Everything that can be smelted for a half is saplings, sticks, and azalea bushes. And everything for a .025 or scaffolding and bamboo. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, leave a like and comment down below. And if you want to see more tip videos or other Minecraft videos, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.